Mag viewers, hope you're having a great day. Today, I am going to do a little follow-up on the Sound of Freedom movie that is currently out in theaters. Things are going good for the movie. It is a box office hit. And the reason why I want to do a little follow-up is because there's been a lot of rumors concerning this movie. And all kinds of rumors to sabotage in the theaters. I don't know if this is a continent-wide movement that's going on. I do have a feeling that it is a couple of employees that do not like the message of this movie. And this is the reason why I want to do this follow-up. I think that the message that this movie portrays is that the problem is in everybody's backyard. And if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And by that, I mean, if you cover your ears and close your eyes, then the problem does not exist. If you put your head in the sand, nothing will ever be addressed and no, nothing will ever be corrected. And that is the evil that allows this kind of crimes to go on. And... This movie addresses harm that is done to children. And I think that as long as one child gets into one of this situation, it is one too many. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please read some other reviews about Sound of Freedom and please go and watch it. It is not going to be time wasted. It is going to sensitize you to a problem and I don't understand why there is such a pushback against this movie you'd think that everybody would agree that kids need to be protected and I am looking at the I'm Canadian and I'm looking at what's going on in the US and there's this big movement to sexualize kids and to rob them of their self-identity and have them impose an identity that is confusing you know you're supposed to apparently let a child determine his own sex without having him know the differences and not having gone through puberty to experience whatever his gender offers that's, I'm getting really sidetracked here. I do apologize. But how would I... The reason why I want to do this is because this is a movie that apparently was done by Fox. Fox was bought by Disney. And for six years, this movie sat on a shelf. And the people behind the movie had to buy the rights to distribute this movie. They had to, you know, do it all themselves. Disney did not want to have any part in protecting children, which baffles me. And now that the movie is out, we are looking at the numbers. People really like this movie. And I go here to Rotten Tomatoes. I'm looking at the reviews. Over 10,000 verified ratings from audience. And you would think that, okay, well, look at the critics. 72%, okay, they, they don't align, but it's not negative. But then have a closer look. Only 36 reviewers compared to 10,000 audience. Now, if I click on it, oops, that's not the thing I wanted to click on. My apologies. Let's click on this number here. If I click on the top critics, what? 33%. I don't know what's going on with the critics. They seem to be completely disconnected from what the audience likes and lit watches and enjoys. Movie after movie, I've been doing these videos and the critics are always complete opposite of what people are enjoying. What is going on? Why is this a pushback? Why are the critics so against this movie? And that is a question I would like 
explain to me. You, the viewer, probably know the answer to this, so I would appreciate you commenting down below and letting me know what is happening with the critics and the distribution of this movie. I need help. I like the movie. I watched it. I liked it. It is a subject that hits close to home. I do not need to go into the details, but I think that you can deduct why it touches close to home. So, please let me know in the comments down below, and let's talk about this movie. I think this is the only way to create awareness around this issue, this problem, this cancer in our society. If you agree, give a thumbs up. If you disagree, please explain your point of view. I am baffled here. Have a good day, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.